Taboo Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, Gikan sa NTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas dos. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas dose. Probinsya sa Sugbo na ningil sa MCWD o sa Visayan Electric. Kritikal ang kahimtang sa usakay disunyo bianyos ng lalaki human giabis ang liog sud sa diskuhan. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa New Sang Puerza sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Ang gagamanan sa probinsya sa Sugbo naningil og dulan 58 milyones nga kantidad sa abang sa Metropolitan Cebu Water District o MCWD o sa Visayan Electric. So sa katunga kung nakatuigan nga giingong pagpanghilabot sa mga luting nga gipanag-iya sa probinsya sa Sugbo. Ang MCWD nakautang og 44.5 milyones ka pesos tungod sa paglapa sa dulan 900 ka metro kwadrado nga kantidad sa mga luti nga gipanag-iya sa Kapitulyo diha sa May Osminia Boulevard o sa Barilad area sud na sa 48 so katuig. Sa tigom sa Kapitulyo na itong biyernes, ang Visayan Electric Company nakautang og 13.3 milyones pesos tungod sa pag-encroach o sab niini sa kapin 500 ka metro kwadrado nga luna diha sa Maydan Osminia Boulevard so kani adtong 2008 apan samtang gigataho nga nisugot ang MCWD nga bayran ang kantidad sa pag-assess sa Kapitulyo ang Visayan Electric Company ni question kini sa maong assessment Gipaybaw sa Department of Health nga no nay 400 kundulan 4,000 ka mga bivalent COVID-19 vaccine nga gihatag gikan sa nasod sa Lithuania. Gisugat sa mga kadaguan sa Departamento sa Paglawas o mga opisyal gikan sa Lithuania ang 390 mil ka mga vaccine nga dosis nga ni Akaroni at nga Sabado sa gabi. Matod sa DOH nga gamiton ang maong bakuna aron mahatagan o igong proteksyon ang mga tao batok sa COVID-19 Og SARS-CoV-2 o ingon man ang Omicron sub-variant nga BA.4, ingon man ang BA.5. Gikalipay ni OIC Secretary Maria Rosario Vergere ang donasyon gikan sa Lithuanian government uban sa tinguha nga maprotektahan ang mga tao batok sa COVID-19 virus. Ana sa kritikal nga kondisyon ang usa ka 19 anyos nga lalaki human na samdan sa yang liog sod sa diskuhan diya sa barangay Kamputhaw ning Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Niadtong Domingo sa kadlawon aksidenteng mibangga ang biktima nga si Ronmart Pamalan ngadto sa maglibin partner nga silang Erwin Ricapuente o Grisel Romano. Matod sa Bilyana Police Station nga nahubog ang maglibin partner sa mao nga kalagot giabis ni Romano ang liog ni Pamalan gamit ang buak nga butilya sa beer. Daling gida sa tambalanan ng biktima apan nadakpan sa kadugayan na usab ang managuyab pinagi sa citizen's arrest. Kasong prostrated homicide ang yatubang karon ni Romano o Grika Puente. Pipila ka mga opisyal sa Sugbo gihatagan og pag-ila sa nakalabay nga Asian Golden Icon Award matod sa presidente sa mismong award giving body nga aduna sila dakong contribution sa komunidad. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Gia Navarro. Nag-abot ang mga leader, negosyante o ubang mga individual sa Waterfront Cebu Hotel ni Atong Biernes sa gabi alang sa Asia's Golden Icon Awards. Ang mong international award giving body to yung gibug na aron pag-ila sa mga individual, organisasyon o kumpanya na doon ni Dakong natampo sa palibot. Apil sa mga ipanghatagan o pag-ila, mao silang Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, 5th District Board Member Michael Villamor o 6th District Board Member Glenn Anthony Soko. Nahatagan o sab o pag-ila sila Ming Lanilla Mayor Rajiv Enad, Consolation Mayor Nene Aligado o Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama. And who I am today, Singapore Life, Cebu City, for all to emulate, for all to feel the aspiration. I am only a messenger. I am only a messenger. Matutong presidente sa mong award-giving body nga si Dr. Ronan Ibanez nga nasulod mismo sa kriteriya ang mga naisgutang opisyal sa Subo. 
Tuod kini sa nahimo nilang kontribusyon sa palibot. Isa po sa mga naging batayan natin kasi meron po kaming mga kriteriya dito. Unang-una yung services that they had given to our uh, people, the achievement, the influence that they have, the leadership that they have. O pag-ila silang Senador Sherwin Gatchalian o Senador J.V. Ejercito tungkol na usab sa ilang leadership isip magbabalaod sa nasod. Again, it's, uh, it's nice to be recognized in your achievements. So it doesn't stop here. So it will only inspire me to, to be better, to, to uh, work even harder. The, the room is full of public servants. So... Um, it, it's good to inspire our public servants because uh, we have a lot of things to do and, uh, and uh, this award is a symbol that uh, everyone's working together for the betterment of the country. Gayon sa Subo ang Asia's Golden Icon Awards ang pag-ila na sa turismo ingon man sa talento sa mga Subuanon. Dako ang pasalamat ni Ibanez sa malampusong pagpahigayon sa mong award-giving body o sinimong tampo sa ilang mga awardees. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Gipahunong una ni Gobernur Gwendolyn Garcia ang kanyoneering activities diya sa barangay Matutinaw, lungsod sa Badyan. Nadiskubihan sa LGU Badyan o PNP nga doon ay metallic spike sa palibot nga doon ay mga istrataktura nga gitukod sud sa Esmen Zone sa Kawasan Falls. Mao nga ni issue o Executive Order Number 14 si Governor Gwendolyn Garcia ni adtong Hunyo 2 sa pagpahunong na sa maong kalihukan nakalatid sa maong mando nga kung mapasagdan man kini musangpot kini sa dakong kadaot alang sa publiko. Maokan to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa nga sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Seri 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat. Those who follow in fear, whose arm is power.
rejoicing in my saving God. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padilio and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Today, we join the whole church in the celebration of the memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. He is a member of the Order of St. Benedict and called the Apostle of Germany, who planted the seed of the faith in Germany and nourished that land with his blood in his martyrdom. And we offer in this Mass, first and foremost, for the intentions of all those who are commemorating the birthdays or anniversaries today and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecasts and streamed celebration. And we also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill, and praying as well for all the intentions we promise to pray for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Tobit. I, Tobit, have dwelt all the days of my life on the paths of truth and righteousness. I performed many charitable works for my kinsmen and my people who had been deported with me to Nineveh in Assyria. On our festival of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, a fine dinner was prepared for me and I reclined to eat. The table was set for me, and when many different dishes were placed before me, I said to my son, Tobiah, My son, go out and try to find a poor man from among our kinsmen exiled here in Nineveh. If he is a sincere worshiper of God, bring him back with you so that he can share this meal with me. Indeed, son, I shall wait for you to come back. Tobiah went out to look for some poor kinsmen of ours. When he returned, he exclaimed, Father, I said to him, What is it, son? He answered, Father, one of our people has been murdered. His body lies in the marketplace where he was just strangled. I sprang to my feet, leaving the dinner untouched, and I carried the dead man from the street and put him in one of the rooms so that I might bury him after sunset. Returning to my own quarters, I washed myself and ate my food in sorrow. I was reminded of the oracle pronounced by the prophet Amos against Bethel. All your festivals shall be burned into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I wept. Then at sunset I went out, dug a grave, and buried him. The neighbors mocked me, saying to one other, another, he is still not afraid. Once before he was hunted down for execution because of this very thing. Yet now that he has scarcely escaped, here he is again, burying the dead. The word of the Lord. Conducts his affairs 
With you. We are reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests and the scribes and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last of all, thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir, come let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture passage, the stone that the builders rejected? has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, in this Monday within the ninth week in ordinary time, the Lord continues to address the parables against the scribes, the Pharisees, and also the elders of the people, trying to teach them an important lesson about the plan of God for humanity and not about the man's plan or their own plan for their own salvation. For their own justification. Generally, the scribes, the Pharisees, and the elders of the people thought that by their mere good deeds, by their mere obedience to the law, can merit them justification. And in this kind of thinking and this attitude, it would devoid the act of God of saving humanity. It would render the generosity of God into naught, that therefore we can just save ourselves, then there is no need for a Messiah. 
there is no need for a God to sacrifice His very self for us. And there is no need to believe on Jesus. And this was that kind of conflict between Jesus and His teaching towards the authority of His people under and their kind of attitude. And what the Lord wants them to realize is that because of the love of God, He has given us everything, the things that we cannot provide with ourselves. Just like the parable story in our gospel today, in which there is this owner of a vineyard who provided everything for the tenants. And we are told in the gospel that a man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and even built a tower. If we try to reflect on these images, everything is already provided. Wa nagyoy laing pangitaon pa ang tao, gihatag na sa ginoo ang tanen. And yet, the response of these tenants were very brutal. They killed, they beat those um, tenants or the servants of the owner. And even comes the son, the only heir to the vineyard, they also mal, maltreat the son. And here comes the portrayal of that very human attitude towards the things of God, towards God himself indifference, ungrateful, mga ingrata, and thinking uh, kami mo ay hinungdan nga no maluwas mi. Or thinking nga kinahanglan, rasyaan ko sa ginoo kay ako mo'y nagbuhat ni ini. Ako mo'y hinungdan ni ining kaayuhan nga nasinati sa uban. And this is the kind of attitude not only during the time of our Lord addressed to the, Pharisee, the, the Pharisees, the, the scribes and the elders, but as well as to our own attitude today of that certain attitude of self, sati, uh, of, of that kind of self-satisfaction, of that attitude of, self be, of being self-contained and not thinking that everything is but God's gift. Not thinking that all the good things that we have received and encountered in our lives are actually God's initiative for us. And the right attitude is that of the attitude of the saints in which we remember today, whose memorial we celebrate today, that generosity of Saint Boniface. Even by shedding his blood, he gave everything for the faith. And even in the first reading from the book of Tobit, we are told about the generosity of Tobit, as well as his son, Tobiah, who, being concerned of the welfare of others, and not just for the self. And this is how we are going to kill and even to discipline that kind of attitude of being self-contained. Think otherwise. Think for the welfare of others and do some generous acts. Take the initiative to be a blessing to others and not just only wanting for more blessings. And in the process, all the more that we become greedy and all the more we are self-contained, all the more that our hearts would be like a stone indifferent to others. And therefore, the Lord wants us to take heed on this concern. The Lord wants us to be generous in our hearts. The Lord wants us to reflect on the goodness of the Lord, not because of us, but because the Lord loves us and He wants us to find fulfillment in Himself and not finding self-fulfillment in what we are doing, but in what Jesus did for us. Amen. Prayers are the faithful. Jesus addressed the parable of the wicked tenants to the Jewish leaders who were seeking to arrest him. The vineyard would be taken away from them and given to others. Let us pray that we may offer to God the fruits that he expects from us. And let our response in every petition, Lord of the vineyard, help us to care. Lord of the vineyard, help us to care. 
May the powerful see themselves as tenants and not owners of the goods of the earth, which the Lord intends to be shared by all, we pray. Lord, help us to pray. May those to whom the Lord transferred the care of his vineyard give him the produce that he expects, we pray. Lord, the vineyard, help us to care. May we listen to the prophets of today, whom the Lord sends to remind us of our duties and responsibilities towards him and towards our brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, the care. May we be honest and truthful, making good our pledges and promises, we pray. Lord, the vineyard, help us to care. May crises and calamities remind us that we are not gods, we are not kings, and we do not have the power of controlling everything. May we see ourselves as part of creation, fragile and vulnerable, we pray. Lord of the vineyard, help us to care. Lord God, you have entrusted your creation to the care of human beings. May we guard, preserve, and develop the things of the earth rather than use them for quick and easy profit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace we may be set afire with that flame of your love. Through it, St. Boniface over overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance. You grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Boniface, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of her mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And, with yours. and may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. 